Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, how to use the power of labels in Adobe Premiere Pro. In their simplest form, labels apply a color to an item, a video clip, an image, audio, what have you. But there are some important things to know in working with labels. For instance, at the end, I'm going to show you a secret tip on how to update every single instance of a label color throughout a whole project. Let's go have a look. So I have a project open here. This is from Waiting for Lightning. And on the left hand side in the project panel, you'll see a bunch of colors. And these are the label colors that are applied to these clips. To change a label color, right click, choose label, pick a different color, and you're done. Label colors help you identify things. For instance, maybe this is the best take or this is the B-roll that you need and then you color them all purple or blue or yellow, they're easier to select. You can also, I'm going to go back and change this. You can also select the same label color group. So if I wanted every single one of these, let's say this color here to be the, to be selected, I choose label, select label group. And you'll notice that here and down on the bottom, all of that particular label color is selected. Now you can change these colors in the preferences. So it's in the edit menu on windows. It's in the premiere pro menu on the Mac and label colors and label defaults. If you click in the colored part over on the right, you can change the color. And you can normally see that they're all fairly muted. They're, they're meant to be easy on the eyes down here in the bottom. And you can change each one. You can also change the default of how they're applied. For instance, you can change the bin to be all iris or all violet. You can change a sequence to go from forest to that color. Um, and when you click OK, it's going to update the defaults for that. On the right hand side, you'll notice that we also have label colors in here and I can do all the same stuff. I can, I can right click on a clip and choose label and make a choice and, and make that different. I can also select same group in here and you can see all of these are all selected. So let's say that you always wanted to select something and they weren't all on the same track. They were peppered throughout and wherever they were, you can now easily select them and do anything you want to them. Maybe change the audio gain. Speaking of audio, down here at the bottom, by default, you can make the waveforms have the label color. So you see I turn that off and now the green, uh, the, all the audio waveforms stay green. And when I turn that back on, now they'll use the label color of whatever I have. And if something is on its own, notice this is green and this is uh, mango, that's because this is not linked. This is linked. All right, here's one thing that definitely um, will confuse some users, especially if you are coming from Final Cut Pro. Um, Premiere Pro looks at every instance of every clip as a separate entity. I'll show you what I mean. Let's look at this clip right here. And in this clip, it's blue. I'm gonna right click and find it in the project. So that's my clip over there and it's that blue. If I change this color over here on the left, I'm going to change this to mango. It changes there, but it doesn't change in here. In fact, if I drag this over into here, you can see in the timeline, the same clip has two different colors. And there was an update added in Creative Cloud to make these changes global, okay? So let's undo a couple here and we'll make a change. It's in the File menu, Project Settings, General. This little guy right down here. Display the project names and label colors for all instances. If this is checked, all track names and label colors will match the corresponding project. What does that mean? Remember this one was blue. I'm going to change it 
to mango and it changes there. If I change the name also it would change that. Oh, hallelujah. Now some people might not want that change. They want to keep it separate over here, but you got the best of both worlds by going to your preferences. Labels are very simple, but also really powerful. And if you don't know that one tip, Lord almighty, uh, you might just say, well, they're not as powerful as Final Cut. Well, they are, plus they've got different ways of working. All right, well, hopefully you found that informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button for video reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com. What are you waiting for? And download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Mm -hmm.